And I thought we could look at prepositions of place and time, something which is always uh, a bit of a problem for students. Certainly here in Poland where I teach, uh, they get mixed up. They don't, uh, they tend to use on a lot of the time when they should use uh, other prepositions. They don't tend to use at very much, if at all. And um, we get problems, for example, um, if I ask, you know, what what did you do at the weekend? Uh, oh, I was on the party. I was on the party. So for an English person, this would be uh, physically on top of it. But of course, we can't be on uh, an abstract thing. <laughs> so let's have a look at some ideas of collocations. If we can write down collocations, uh, this can help help us and we can learn them so that when we're writing English assignments or text, we can remember, oh yes, we're using on for this, at for this, in for this. Okay. So what can we use for preposition of place on? What collocation can you think of for this? Think of a, a phrase or something where we have uh, on something and talking about a place hmm, what do you think on a chair okay yes I was sitting on a chair for example yeah what else? In English, on tends to be very literal, um, a literal kind of preposition. We're on, uh, on, a, on a rug. So it's often it's a flat surface. It's something that is uh, flat, and the the object or the person is positioned on it. So we might say on the floor, yeah, on the shelf. For example, mm -hmm. okay tends to be a flat surface. Um, also, we can use it for location. Talk about maybe on on a trip, on holiday, on a cruise. Yeah. Okay. Another use is uh, Communication. Talk about on TV, on the phone. So these are the general collocations that we need to learn. Yeah, on something. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. What about at? Can you think of any collocations for preposition of place? At. At.
Okay. But looking at place at the moment, so preposition of place at, you know, maybe your your friend phones you and uh, you say, oh, where are you? I'm at school. Or I'm at home. So this tells us the location of the person. We can use it with an event. For example, I was at, at an exam, at a meeting, at a party. Also, we use it with uh, position to say, uh, again, talk about the place, where something is. At the top, let's use our articles here, at the bottom. For example, at the end, beginning. Yeah, at the mall. You can be at the shopping mall. For example, in Polish, they, the people will tell Okay. Preposition of place in. What collocation can you think of there, Asma? In my bag. Yeah, it's a good example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we need an article or a possessive adjective. This is usually a place which is three-dimensional. Yeah, in a box. It's a classic example. Or, in my mind, yeah, this is an abstract example. We can use it for places like... Uh, countries or cities. I was in London. I was in the UK. Yeah, so differences there in the prepositions of place. Let's look at now time. And I think it's good to do these together, place and time, because we can compare them. We can see that it's the same three words, on, at, in, for both. Of course, there are other prepositions of time and place, but these are the main ones and the most important. And the problem is these are in almost every sentence. So if we get, get it wrong, or if we don't use one, it's a bit like articles. If we don't use them and or we use them incorrectly, then the sentence can look very basic. So we can't say on September. Not on. Which preposition do we use for September? For months? Mm -hmm. On is for days and dates. Yeah, so we could say on the on the 1st of September, on the 2nd of September, or on Monday, on Tuesday. But we, for months we would use in. Yeah, that's what, that's because uh, the month has many parts, so it has lots of different points inside it. So we would use in, but a specific day, it's, there's only one day, so it would be on the day. Okay. 
Also for prepositions of time on, we can say uh, specific days such as on, on my birthday, on Christmas day, on my wedding day. Specific days. Also specific periods on Monday morning. Or if it's a regular time, a regular appointment on Monday mornings with us. Okay. What about uh, at? What, when do we use at as preposition of time? Mm -hmm. Any ideas? Well, we use it for uh, to talk about specific times, yeah, we might say, for example, at two p.m. Yeah, at two p.m. or at four o'clock. Yeah, at three. Mm -hmm. So we need at. We need at for this. Okay, we can talk about even about now, at the moment, at present. Also for, for time periods, we can use it at night, at the weekend, at Christmas, at Easter. Yeah. Okay, and for in, we looked at in, we said months, for example, in September, not on, on is for days, but in for months. So we just have to remember these collocations. Yeah, at my father's house, so that was preposition of place, and that's a particular uh, or specific place. Yeah, absolutely. Let's add it on. Okay. In, uh, we, we can say in months, for example. Also in uh, seasons, years. So in 2015, in spring, yeah, this kind of thing. Also in the future, we talk about in a minute, like I see you in a few hours from now. Also position in the middle. So very flexible words on at in. They're a little bit like articles. Um, you know what I mean by articles is a, an, the. And it's very hard to write a sentence in English without an article. It's hard to say one. <laughs> it's hard to write a sentence without a preposition of place or time as well. So these are things to really focus on if you want to improve accuracy. Uh, let's take an example here.
you know, this is absolutely a standard uh, sentence in past simple. I put the book on the table. I put the book on the table. So three of the words here are words that we're looking at. Articles and preposition of place. So if you try to, to say this without uh, articles or prepositions, then what do you have? I put book table. That's it. You've got just uh, subject, verb, and two nouns. Do you understand this sentence now? I put book table. We might guess guess the meaning, even by looking at it, uh, looking at the book on the table. Um, the preposition of place really helps us to know what is going on, what is the relationship between the book and the table and you. You know, the book is on the table because you put it there. You said that. But without these little words, without these little uh, function words, articles, prepositions and so on, we really have a lot of problems because we're just left with nouns and verbs. Okay, that's one example. We can think of more ex examples. Okay, any questions at the moment? Please uh, type in the box if you have one. I'm going to go to the next page uh, just so that you know there is another worksheet here in the class, in the course uh, pages. This is maybe the most useful for revision. Uh, and it's got all these uh, examples on it. So you can download this from WizIQ. If you just go to the course page, and um, you should be able to find it, I'm sure. So this is like the, the re revision page or the cheat sheet, if you like. Something to look at. But we're going to do an activity now. Just to practice this information, what we've been uh, looking at here. Okay, can you see this? Okay, Asma. Six o'clock. This is the time. So which preposition of time is it? Yeah, so that's an, it's easier yeah? at at six o'clock. Okay. Now next one is another time, ten a.m. Ten a.m. What do you think? So we know that uh, time for times we're using at specific times. Okay, the next word is a year, 2015, and we know that's a time. So which preposition of time is it? Yeah, that's right. In 2015. Okay, next one. 
is our anniversary. Our anniversary. So anniversary is a specific day, isn't it? That is a particular day. So we need on, yeah. Okay. The next one, it looks like a place this time. This is a place, the balcony. So, balcony, it's a kind of platform. And we always use on for platforms. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, this is easy, but this is uh, elementary grammar course. So we're looking at this from an elementary point of view. This is something that students need to know or need to practice at elementary level. Yeah. What about my birthday? What do you think? This is a time. It's one day, one particular or specific day. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a tool uh, that you could use, Asma, if you want, to help you. It's just one option. Of course, another way to do this exercise is to um, just shout out some places and some times and ask, you know, they have to tell you on, at, in. So you could do it orally if you wanted to. You could sh shout out, my birthday! And they have to say, everybody says on. Another option for this is to have three corners of the room. One is on, one at, and one in. And you say the the place or time, for example, Manchester. And everybody has to run to this corner, which is uh, designated in. Maybe you've got it on a big piece of paper, in. And whoever is, is the last one to get there will be out of the game. Or anybody who doesn't go to the right place can also be out of the game. So you could do it orally, you could do it in a kinetic way with movement, with running around, or you could do it as a homework, give them this page as homework, or they could, uh, of course, they could write the collocations for each one. So it's a lot of options here. Let's, we'll just look at a few more. Uh, as an example, box, we talked about a box. Box is a three-dimensional place, and we, we use in for these places. In the box, in the bus, in the car, in the bus or on the bus. Slightly different in different uh, sentences. Normally we'd say um, a person is on the bus, not sitting on it. But maybe if you're talking about uh, an object, maybe you left your phone, then you could use in the bus and as a 3D place. Yeah, so we looked at some of these on the floor. Uh, in July, 
in Manchester, so cities and countries and lots of other uh, possibilities. Okay, so do you have any more questions about it, Asma, uh, about prepositions of place and time, or how to teach teach them? Good, okay, everything's clear. So we'll see in the next lesson, we'll see a different topic we're going to be using uh, as well. Big Grammar Book 2. Um, just a note for anybody who's watching the recording, I hope next time you can join us in the live class. Yeah, because it will really be beneficial, I think, for everybody. Yeah, that's good, Asma. You know, it's good to have goals and to have uh, something to aim for in life and certainly if you can improve your accent that would that will really help you a lot um, it'll help you to be more clearly understood definitely ah so this is the second page this is the correct page with all the answers And it's just a case of learning the the, the collocations. You know, it, we're at a specific place, at the dentist, at home, at position, at the top, at the bottom, on the platform, on the bus, on balcony, transport, surface, uh, communications, on TV, on the internet, for example. But this is also a platform, TV, internet, mobile phones. Yeah, we have to learn these, the collocations. Okay, so let's finish this lesson for today. I hope you, you can join me in the next lesson. And uh, keep an eye out on the WizIQ course page. Yeah, thanks for coming today, Asma, and I'll see you, and uh, everybody else, see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.